I'm Carolyn Mano in for Sarah Gore and this is Open House. This week we're hitting the links as we look at some of the country's best estates for golf enthusiasts from coast to coast. We visit an exclusive community in Malibu, California with breathtaking ocean views. We're in Southampton to tour a grand country house complete with bowling alley, movie theater, putting green and more. And we visit a luxurious estate in Indian Wells, California. Plus a Connecticut estate located right on the golf course. But first we take a look at all things to consider when looking for the perfect home if you are a golf enthusiast. Location is also important when it comes to looking at homes on a course. Just like in real estate, the old adage location, location, location matters. Welcome to Open House. I'm Carol Amano with NBC Sports, in for Sarah Gore. While I'm normally hosting the Sports Desk updates on NBC and the Olympics and NASCAR America on NBCSN, I am also a big fan of beautiful homes. I mean, who isn't? Today, I'm coming to you from a beautiful loft overlooking Madison Square Park. This home was stylishly renovated to perfection with an open flow in the living spaces that make it perfect for entertaining. There's a built-in floating glass bar and huge south-facing windows that let in plenty of light. Lofty 12-foot ceilings give everything a very dramatic feel, yet the resort-like master suite is a serene and luxurious way to start and end your day. It is one of four bedrooms in this approximately 6,000 square foot beauty. Now, whether you're an avid golfer or even just a fan of golf, nothing could be better than actually living on the golf course. But believe it or not, there's a ton of things to consider when searching for that perfect home on the links. Take a look. Hi, I'm Kara Amir with Cobalt Banker Real Estate. A home on a golf course is like owning a little slice of paradise. For avid golfers or simply those who enjoy the sport, there's nothing like having views of the fairway right from your backyard. But before you buy, there are many things to consider when looking for a home in a golf community. One of the first things I tell my clients is private clubs aren't the only options. There are some other choices when you're looking for a home on a golf course. There's public courses as well as those that are semi-private. And if the home is part of a resort, you may have some options there as well. Another thing to consider when looking at a home in a golf course community is how much play does that course get? You'll want to find out are there regular outings, tournaments, or other events that could impact your enjoyment of that golf course view. Because let's face it, while it's beautiful to look at, a golf course is meant to be played. Location is also important when it comes to looking at homes on a course. Just like in real estate, the old adage location, location, location matters. Things to consider here are, is the home on a fairway, a tee, or a green? Why does that matter? Golfers tend to linger on these different locations longer than others. For example, if they're teeing off, the golfers are likely to move through quickly. But if they're on a green, they're putting, and that means it could take a few strokes to make it into the hole. Another factor to consider is the proximity of the home to the golf cart path. After all, you're going to be getting some traffic with these going past the house, so you want to make sure you're comfortable with where those are located. Another very important thing to consider are the views of the home. Is it just golf course only, water to golf, or in some cases, golf to mountains? That can have a significant impact on the price you pay for the home. Another thing is whether that home sits on what's known as the signature hole of a golf course. And every course has one. This could be something special like an island green or something that they created to make a hole especially challenging. A home situated on a view overlooking that type of hole can also command a premium. Memberships and amenities are also important considerations when you're looking to buy a home on a golf course. For example, is membership required in order to use the course? And are there other things that come with that membership, such as social, dining, tennis, and fitness? Or do you have the option to pick and choose? Maybe you want to live in a golf community, but you don't necessarily golf. Living on a golf course means that you're going to have golfers coming through your backyard. So if you're concerned about privacy, that is something to consider. But the flip side is, if you like to have a lot of outdoor parties or large barbecues, you may need to consider the golfers' tee times because they like their quiet when they're teeing off. 
There's a reason why those golf courses always look so nice. It takes a lot of landscaping and maintenance. So just know that noise from lawnmowers and maintenance crews are well par for the course. Our new website, CobalBankerLuxury.com, offers someone the ability to search for a property by lifestyle category, including golf course living. To search for your next dream home on the green, go to CobalBankerLuxury.com. Coming up next, a Connecticut estate right on the golf course with views of the Long Island Sound. We'll be right back. Open House is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker, the real estate company with real advantages. Find your home today at coldwellbanker.com. Welcome back. Now we are in a home with sweeping views of both the Long Island Sound and a golf course. In fact, it's located right on the back nine. Highlights of this contemporary colonial include both a wine cellar and an infinity pool with a waterfall. Check it out. Hi, I'm Sandy Efren. Welcome to our home in Norwalk, Connecticut. Come on in. The home is approximately 7,000 square feet. It is located on the 14th hole at Shorehaven Golf Course overlooking Long Island Sound. But what really makes this home exciting is right this way. When you enter the house, this is the room that draws you in, our great room. What makes this room so special is the enormous windows that take in this spectacular view. Really, our kitchen is the heart of the home. It's where everybody hangs out. The cabinets have an automobile-like shine, and they tie in nicely to the custom-made stainless steel hood. And of course, the views. Imagine preparing a meal and looking out at those views. There's a natural flow from the kitchen and the great room into our dining room. Behind the glass is our beautiful wine cellar. Almost makes you feel like you're eating in a restaurant. We kept our master on the first floor so we could have access to the deck and to the hot tub. But the master bath is my true retreat. It has an incredible soaking tub. There's a steam shower. There's even a fireplace and a TV. You could spend the whole day in there. There's really no better place to watch a movie than in our cozy media room. It has our drop-down projection screen TV, wet bar, and if you're too tired to go home, we'll just pull down the Murphy bed. It's way too nice to stay inside. Let's head out over the spectacular glass bridge and down to the pool. We love being outdoors here. We play bocce on the bocce court, swim in the infinity edge pool with hot tub. We grill and have great parties, especially 4th of July, when the town sets off fireworks that we can see right here from our backyard. I really hope you enjoyed looking at our home. It truly is a special place to be with something for everyone. Four. Stay right here because coming up next, an entertainer's dream home near Palm Spring. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm Carolyn Mano of NBC Sports, in for Sarah Gore. Now we visit a stately palace in Indian Wells, California. This luxurious estate offers more than 8,000 square feet of interiors with distinct design and architectural touches throughout. The inside and the outside blend seamlessly together so that its pool, spa, and stunning views actually become part of the entertaining spaces. But check it out for yourself. Hi, I'm Zachary Lincoln. And I'm PT. We're with the Valerie Fitzgerald Group. And we're at the Pepperwood Palace in the heart of Indian Wells, the greater Palm Springs area. And we're happy to give you guys a tour of this beautiful estate. This home was built in 2007 by a very popular architect by the name of Tom Jakeway in a very Mediterranean and Tuscan style. So we're standing here in the main living area of the house. You can see behind me, we have an expansive fireplace, nearly six feet tall. We have high vaulted ceilings, and it's very nice to have a bar area close to the living area. You can grab a drink with friends or guests, and it's really great for entertaining and having family over. So what I love about this kitchen is the details. It's fully detailed, starting with uh, this beautiful, beautiful warm caramel countertops, uh, an amazing range hood, professional appliances of all sorts. There's also a great breakfast area where you can enjoy your coffee in the morning and a uh, very nice and formal uh, dining area. Another great thing about this house is the truly exceptional craftsmanship. And you really will see that here in the master suite from the fabric walls, the cove ceilings. You really can't have a bad day when you wake up to views of the San Jacinto Mountains and its Tom Fazio golf course. So we are standing here adjacent to the master suite in this elegant master bathroom with high-end finishes a walk-in shower, dual vanities, and a large walk-in closet. And after a long day, you can enjoy a nice relaxing bath here in the tiled tub with your own personal fireplace. The spiral staircase leads you down to this beautiful gaming area. And like the rest of the house, you really see the excellent craftsmanship. From the wood coffered ceilings, the stone shelves, and the custom carved crown molding. This space features a fabulous bar area and a pool table. It's the perfect party space. Situated on the sixth hole of this Tom Fazio golf course, this patio has so much to offer with an amazing view, an incredible pool, a beautiful outdoor kitchen for barbecues and entertainment. But I think what I like the best is the San Jacinto mountain views. Thanks for stopping by. We really hope you enjoy this beautiful Pepperwood estate in the heart of Indian Wells. Stick around because up next we're catching up with designer Randy Kemper at a spectacular home in Southampton. Welcome back. Now we're in the Hamptons, the perennial summer escape on the East Coast. And along with the white sandy beaches and the glitterati, you will find grand, well-designed homes like this nearly 16,000 square foot estate in the heart of Southampton. Inside, you'll find state-of-the-art amenities, a bowling alley, putting green and more. Designer Randy Kemper takes us on a tour. Hey there, I'm Randy Kemper. My partner Tony Ingrow and I were asked to work on a spectacular new house here in Southampton. I can't wait to take you in and show you all around it. But first, let me show you around the grounds. It is Southampton after all, and it's gorgeous country out here. Sited on just under four acres of private landscape grounds, this is an entertainer's paradise. The pool and the pool house itself is something out of a fantasy. 
It's definitely where everybody's gonna gather on those hot summer days to chill and relax. There are vibrant gardens, a fire pit, and a tennis court. But let me show you what we did with the inside. As you approach the house through the gate, you immediately get a sense of its grandeur. It's something we definitely tried to emulate in this entry gallery. For example, these high vaulted ceilings are mirrored for extra drama. There are beautifully paneled walls in the classic style, but we've updated it by allowing large flat surfaces for a contemporary art collection. It doesn't get more relaxing than that. Here in the living room, the driftwood coffee table contrasts beautifully with the statuary marble bar. The fireplaces throughout the house were done in a really contemporary style, and yet the coffered ceiling is really traditional. This living room is pretty vast, but you can simply open these doors in summer and set it up out here as your summer living room and effectively double its size. But let me take you downstairs and show you where the party really gets crazy. Welcome to your dream rec room. We really wanted this room to make everybody feel like a kid. That's why we did these blue resin floors, a lot of surfboard art here. We really wanted this to be vibrant and to feel alive. It's a place you'll never get bored in. There's a bar, there's a pool table, there's a bowling alley, there's a lot to do down here. And for the wine enthusiasts, there's even a 2,000 bottle cellar. And if you need to practice your putting, we installed a green up on the roof. Just one of the many surprises throughout this house. I hope you enjoyed our sleek modern take on the classic Southampton lifestyle. Thanks for coming. I absolutely love the details in the master suite. Coming up next, a sophisticated oceanfront estate in Malibu. Welcome back everyone. Now we're at an oceanfront estate in Malibu. This exceptional home sits within a resort style community known as Marisol Malibu. It's an uber exclusive private community that features 180 degree elevated ocean views. The home itself has every luxurious amenity you can think of, both inside and out. Take a look. Hi, my name is Rodrigo Iglesias with Hilton and Highland and welcome to beautiful Marisol Malibu. I'd like to start from the driveway where we created a beautiful tropical forest with trees of all kinds. It is truly a resort-like experience. Magical. This home was designed by a world-renowned architect by the name of Doug Birch. He's done extraordinary homes here in Malibu, but this one is the winner of the 2015 Golden Nugget Award given to the best design home on the nation. It has seven bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a studio, but let's stop talking about it. Let's go inside. As you come into the home, you are greeted by this beautiful soaring ceilings, extraordinary use of space, and of course, this magnificent view. Plus the home comes fully furnished with custom designed furniture, so all you need is really your toothbrush. Relaxation begins here in the living room. You're gathered around the fireplace, enjoying the view. There's some friends coming. You're gonna need a nice glass of wine, maybe red, maybe white. So your white wine cellar is there, your red wine cellar is there. And if you're ready to kick it up a notch, well, here it is. You have the pool, you have the TV to watch your favorite show, a theater to have the real Hollywood experience, and my favorite part, the indoor-outdoor bar, where all those windows disappear and makes the experience of entertaining your friends seamless. Since you're an entertainer, and this is an entertainment kitchen, it needs to look neat at all times. So when you're serving your dinner party, things need to be hidden, like refrigerators are hidden from the view. And then the cabinets open seamlessly with a touch of a finger. Now, if you're not tall enough to reach them, you can always press this button and the door will close. And when you're throwing this huge party and you don't want to mess up the kitchen, there's a prep kitchen right next door. 
If you thought the first floor was cool, the second floor gets even better. But we don't have to take the stairs. Let's take the elevator. And upstairs, we have three bedroom suites, but the master and commander is to the right. The moment you're walking into this master suite, you're the captain of the mega yacht overlooking the Pacific. In this master, you have a gym, his and hers bathrooms and closets, a projection room right in front of your bed, an outdoor deck to relax, and an outdoor deck to do yoga or get massages. And the big surprise is right this way. A five-hole putting green with an ocean view. I saved the best for last. This home is all about entertaining outside. You have this beautiful limestone terrace, not one, but two book-in pavilions. One for your dining and the other one for entertainment right outside of the bar. All encompassed with this 67 feet infinity edge pool and spa. And the icing on the cake, a 4,000 square foot beach right below your pool where you can have some champagne, put your toes in the sand and toast to the sunset. Thank you for joining me today at 11846 Elise Street in Malibu, where life doesn't get any better. Salute. Well, that's all for now, but it was such a pleasure filling in for Sarah Gore this week. We hope you loved our look at the best estates for golf lovers. And if you want to see any of these amazing homes again, all you have to do is head to openhousetv.com. And you can also keep up with us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at Open House TV. We'll see you next time.